Hello everybody, my name is Catman Chief and welcome to FNAF World. Why did I just say welcome? Why didn't I say welcome back? Well, the answer is, last time was a little bit more of an analysis. So, yeah, as you can see, I've changed the title, if you've already seen it, and it was like number one. Uh, what did it, what did it say? Um, see it on the flip side, yeah. If you've seen number one, see it on the flip side, it is now called FNAF World number zero, analyzing the game. So, yeah, that was just me analyzing the game, and now we are actually going to play our actual thing. And we are actually going to be playing uh, normal mode on our first playthrough, and the second time we will be playing, um, what's it called, um, whatever. Um, but, yeah, so now we gotta be careful with what party we choose. Except for this time, it will not be a permanent party. It will be, um, that r random characters pop up throughout the game, and it, once you defeat them, you get them, and you are able to use them in your party. So, yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna start off with, uh, Freddy. And then we're also gonna have Bonnie, and then Toy Chica, and... Toy Freddy, and our second team is going to consist of Chica, Foxy, Toy Bonnie, and Ming. Okay, done. Just like that. I know you may feel like going on taking a stroll, but something seems very, very wrong today. Very, very wrong. All is not well in Animatronica. Animatronic Village? Village Tronica? We are rocking on it! The point is, something horribly is horribly wrong! There have been a lot of bizarre creatures roaming around lately, even some that look like us? My god, mate! I don't even know! What voice am I doing? Am I doing Irish? Or am I doing British? I, I don't know. We aren't par prepared to deal with situations like this. Something bad must have happened on the flip side. Yeah, they talk about the flip side a lot. Oh, anyway. Go and see what you can find. Be careful, though. Our wood cutting auto chipper has gone haywire. It's been jump scaring me all day. Um, so, yeah. Um,. And he's gonna transform in a moment here. It's gonna be not so all happy and stuff, yeah. But you don't really believe that, do you? Not really. There's a task for you to complete. You have to leave breadcrumbs for him to help him find his way. Is that it? Just done. Jumping. Alright, so yeah, let's save right off the bat. And we got some mech crabs. Um, just some mic toss and some bash. Boom. And then we got some uh, pizza wheel. And cupcake. Kill our party. Of course, mic toss. Boom. Done. Just like that. And we level up. Yeah, um, so these little chests, and they give you money, chips, or money. Pretty much it, that's all it gives you. But, uh, yeah, this over here, here, let me go show you. This over here is the bite vendor, yes, the bite vendor, a little bit. And these, these bites shoot stingers at enemies for extra damage, and we kinda want to get this one. So we're gonna save up for that one. Shadow Freddy will apparently eat our soul. Which is not a good. Uh, then over here we got a Balloon Boy minigame, which we can play. Let's try and play it actually. Uh, where you can go left and right and you got this ship that goes extremely, extremely fast. And you have this giant plunger attached to the end of a fishing rod. And what you have to do is, you gotta try to get lower. The lower you get, the more points you'll get. Oh, oh, we didn't even get it. We didn't even get it. Out of order says FNAF 1, which doesn't make very sense if you pay attention to the timeline. Shameless plug, click the I, click the I, find, find my, find my video on FNAF's timeline. That was made quite a while ago. Not even sure if it's correct anymore. 
Yeah. Boom. Done. Just like that. I don't even know what accent I'm doing anymore. It's just going wildly out of control. Yeah, see, just like that. We can bounce back and we got another mech grab. Gonna kill it. So if you don't know, in the description of number zero, uh, I actually put something that said we will be doing two series on FNAF World. One will be just me going through normal uh, in hard mode of FNAF World all the way through. And second one will be me playing with John. And we'll, we'll decide what modes we're doing when we decide to do it. Uh, let's do some pizza wheel. Uh, happy Jam. Water hose? No? Didn't work? Okay. Uh, pizza wheel. Happy Jam. Cupcake. White toss. Pizza wheel. Oh no! Got some toxic bites going up here. Yeah, so if you don't know, this is active time combat. Let's do some good today. Have a jam. And we can also switch to have our other party. Come in here. Finish it off for us. Uh, cupcake. Let's finish it off with a mic toss. Woo! Alright, got 60 XP, a lot of levels up, and some fast tokens. Okay. So I've actually played this a lot. Um, and I guess I guess we can save and try and do this. Okay, auto chipper. Bash jam. Let's fight right to it. Do some attacks. You know, can't let our healer die. You, you never want to let your healer die. Which is why I put three characters in my party that can heal. Which Toy Freddy doesn't do that good of a heal, but he does heal. Now that's the jump scare. Jump scare is like the worst move in the entire game, and I hate it. I don't know what poppers do. Hot cheese. Cupcake. Switch back. Oh, never mind. Uh, do another bash jam. Uh, some party favors. Oh. And boom, dead. Just like that. Simple, simple, and over. And we get a lot of level ups. And over here, this is a chest containing a chip. I know that because it's bigger, and because it's always there. Um, and the chips are right here. And they all do a different effect. As you can see, we can kinda see the names. Like this one's called Fretal Fury. Um, and then this one gives the battle, uh, starts the battle with a temporary strength boost. Uh, oh, fun time, Foxy. It was meant to bless. But, uh, yeah. So, cool. So cool, right? Gotta kill these gear rats. Uh, Bat Sham. Toss. Party Favors. Pizza wheel. Happy jam! Alright! I think that one leveled up a character on the other team. And then here's another chip, which is the Head Start Defense. Which, with a combination of those two, it's pretty good. The Paper Pals, huh? I know, right? It looks exactly how it does in FNAF. Just regular FNAF, not FNAF in the world. You know, you know what I mean. Ooh! 50 chips. Sweet. Alright, let's get back to the Bloom Boy and try the game again. Oh, 
It's already over. Cool. I like that. I like when a battle goes fast. Especially when I'm trying to get somewhere. Alright, try again. Boom. Just like that, done. A hundred chip. Yeah, Nightmare Fredba is definitely getting down to business in that picture. Okay, yeah, so we got a ton of chips from that. I mean, what are they called? Uh, Faz tokens. I don't know why I'm calling them chips. Okay, one of them already done. Yeah, boom, just like that, done. Just that point Freddy throws a microphone across the screen there. Okay, do we have enough to buy? Yes, we do. All right, so now we're gonna buy the Neon Wasp. Thinking outside the box, the marionette. All right, so now we can go this way, which heralds Golden Freddy, or in this game, actually called Fredbear. Boom, that Neon Wasp is wrecking up the competition. Alright, I think I found a clue to us. What? What is happening? Look behind me! There's a tray that is distorted and glitched! You don't know as much as I do! Yeah, yeah, that's very true. But I will tell you that this is a safe haven, a sanctuary! But it's gone wrong! We have to fix it! It will be an adventure! Something horrible must have happened on the flip side, because it's causing this world to fracture. Objects like this tree behind me are broken! But I think you can use these fractures to get to places you couldn't reach before! You have to go and find the source of these fractures! Okay, so let's just wait a moment here, and he will change into... Yeah, yes, yes, the world beneath the surface world. I'm trying to make it as deep as possible. This is a safe place, a sanctuary. The truth is, there is no safe place. You don't understand that. You were made for one thing. There is a task for you to complete. Before you follow this passage, go back, find the clock. So yeah, that's the thing about this game. You have to find clocks, which I'm like... What? Clocks? Why? Why? Okay, Neon Wasp is starting to get on my starting to get on my nerves. So yeah, I'll go in there in a second and show you what's in there. But for now, let's just ignore it. And I don't know how to get that red chest. It always seemed to be very, very, very weirdly hidden and stuff. All right, so let's go over this way because this is where the this is where the um, clock is, as you can see, it's right there. Um, and we have to uh, walk around to get to it. All right, and then it plays a mini game. But my theory about these mini games are is that they are representing how the mini games in FNAF 3 are started, with all the crazy things like pushing ball tiles and clicking on balloon boys. No, that was like a balloon boy, which is like the first, um, the first thing that you have to do to go into a minigame. You have to click on a balloon boy poster in a room, and, yes, like always, wreck. But, yeah, get some more XP, get all that XP, but, um, what was that? oh, yes, this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, you fight characters, and, and it gives you that character as a playable character. The Neon Wasp is just wrecking that Phantom Balloon Boy. As you do, as you do. Pizza Wheel! Wreck him! Space. Oh, Gloom. Which lowers my attack, I think. I think that's what it does. Pizza Wheel! Happy Jam! Okay. Party Favors! Bloom once again. And he's dead! Boom! Just like that! Done! But I don't think I'm gonna be putting Phantom BB on any of my teams yet. Like I said, yet. I might in the future. Oh, there's a chest over here. Might as well go get it. Okay, let's save. Let's save. 
Because you can't be too careful. You can never be too careful. That's not a thing. You can't be too careful with saving. Hey, let me tell you a story. Um, a while back, I was playing Alpha Sapphire because I got up for Christmas a while back. And I didn't play it. Like, very much. But, um, I played it. And I got all the way to the league. And then, as soon as I was in a battle where I couldn't save, and I was about to die, I realized I hadn't saved the entire game. Like, I didn't save once. I seriously don't know how that's not possible. Like, they should tell you to save in the game. Like, if they don't do that, I think that's just a bad design, to be honest. Um. Like, I don't know. Yes, uh, oh. Balloon Boy, yeah, cool. But, uh, I, see, I met your Phantom counterpart a while back. But, um, yeah, like, Sonic Chronicles, for example, tells you to save constantly. And I can tell them to stop telling you to save, because at that point, you know. So, it's like, uh, okay, I don't really need to know that anymore. Like, I already got it down. But, yeah, I should do stuff like that. I think that was a very good design choice. Um, but anyway, enough about that. Um, so, play the game! Cool! Uh, I believe we are now going to go into the tree glitch, and once again, I'm not going to add Balloon Boy to my party, but I might in the future. Because I think I got a good party for now. But yeah, the, this is... Uh... This was a teaser image on IndieDB that Scott posted, and it was called A World Between Worlds. And it's how you get from one place to another while you don't have the fast travel option. Because eventually you get the fast travel option, and I don't know why I went in there, because... I meant into that one. But, oh god, no. Mike Toss! Boom! Yes. Heal the party in a battle that I'm not going to do. Um. Okay, so yeah, so back in here. And the teaser was called The World Between Worlds because it connects the world to itself in a different area. Now, I don't know why it wouldn't be called area to area or something like that. Like place to place or. I, I don't know. It's just something like that. But, yeah. Interesting fact there. Uh, yeah, and here's a uh, creepy, derpy-looking Golden Freddy again. And now we can jump from place to place. Which is pretty cool. Birthday! It increases my strength, agility, and defense. I think. I don't know. I think that's what it does. Save! And I did get the clock, I believe. I think I got the clock. Yes, okay. Um... Great! Be sure to press that button behind you to clear the path for later. I did already. That way you won't have to take the long way again. I think that a lot of these monsters are misguided side effects of whatever has happened on the flip side. It looks like you can knock some sense into them and they'll join you. How wonderfully convenient! You need to find another subtunnel under, under the game, and it's probably hidden, uh, hidden inside another glitched object. Ahead are the dusting fields. You will probably find the next glitched object there. Be careful, things only get more dangerous from here. Then transform! Transform! Things don't get more dangerous. You are being played. You are being led through hoops. Meanwhile, the puppet master is laughing at you. Just kidding, just kidding. I'm not the puppet master. Don't. You do need to find the dusting fields, but not because there is any urgent adventure ahead. Find the clock. Alright, so Nightmare Chica, I'm making you a sandwich. So yeah, on to our next adventure in Choppy's Woods. Oh, Chop and Roll. Bite him! Oh, cool. I only had to do one attack and then bite him the rest. Awesome! I love it. I love it when you don't even have to attack in a game. Uh, yeah. So, there is a mine here. And we will be going into that mine very, very, very shortly. But not at the moment. Uh, 
my god. Gotta attack one more time. Pizza wheel. Uh oh. That, that face up. Alright, Chaps Woods. Keep it on going. Just had a sinister change in music. Oh, box bites. Alright, birthday. Bite. It's real. Oh my god. Already dead. Ooh. Okay. It's real. That's him. Boom. use my other team much so I'm gonna make sure I get some of that in uh, so yeah in this game you can go under stuff in some places it really makes me angry sometimes because it gets me really lost uh, but you won't be really lost in this playthrough because I've already played a majority of the game um, yeah we gotta, gotta kill some people's it's a wheel whoa But, um, yeah, I'll switch. I'll tell the team in before the last guy dies. Okay, pretty simple. Pretty simple. You know, no. Oh, hey, save. Phantom Foxy. My gosh. Party member. Okay, let's look at who we got so far. We got a uh, balloon boy, uh, Phantom BB, and Phantom Foxy. Because look at him. I know you're what? so cute, Scott. Why? Why have you made them so cute? But uh, yeah, going up here. Do do do. Oh hey, there's another clock over there. Uh, pizza wheel. Bash jam. Speed song. Mike Toss. Hot jam! That is one pretty wicked jam, to be honest. Come on. Whoa! 105 XP, that is a lot. Alright, so there's the clock right there. And then, got another... Whoa, 2,000. We're not even close to that. Well, guess we're gonna have to start farming. Fredbear, where it all started, you know. My toss! Fight! My toss! Our favorites! Woo! I like how I'm just naming all the things that I'm using. Come on. I'm like, somebody attack it. Please. Face once again. Challenger has appeared. Let's save Withered Chica. Oh, 
Alright. It's a wheel. Up jam. Gotta get the 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 birthday on. Gotta get that party on. Speed song. Alright, my god. Up jam. Whoa, cupcake. It's a wheel. Oh. Chica, a little toy chica. Died. Give the other party a chance here. Poppers. Don't know what those do still. Oh. Dead. Cool. Alright! Once again, got a new party member. Alright. Yes! See, this is the uh, second thing you have to do. You have to press buttons on an arcade thing, and it has two, so. I think, I think my theory is standing strong. Flam. Okay. Pretty boss team here. Oh. Sorry about that toy, buddy. Happy jam, happy jam, happy jam! Boom. As you do, as you do. So Flan, once again, killed. Alright, Derpy Golden Freddy up ahead. Save. The subtunnel must be up ahead. However, it looks like something's blocking his path. I'm sure it's nothing you can't handle. Scott Cawthon, really, really. I'm sure it's nothing you can't handle. I do need to warn you of something though. When you enter a glitched object into a sub-tunnel, it's possible to find yet another glitched object inside. That will take you into a sub-tunnel beneath the sub-tunnel. There may be even more glitched objects there. Just make sure you never go more than three glitches down. I'm not sure what you would find if you went- I'm not sure if you would find your way back up. Always be sure to search for new chips and bites. It will be help, a huge help against the monsters like the one up ahead. Just wait a moment. Play along for now. You are being pulled on a string for his amusement. Don't enter the glitch yet. You need to go into the mine. Find the clock. The more the merrier. Nightmare Freddy. Alright, so we got Mr. Snowman up ahead. Do you want to build a snowman? Uh, yeah. I think we should end the episode off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been FNAF World Episode 1. Are you ready for more? And I will see you in the next video. Chief, out.